Good morning student I hope you all are good and staying healthy Today I will take new topic of python pandas related to data frames so we will start the data frames In the previous lecture we have discussed series in detail one limitation of series is that it is not able to handle the data in the form of 2d or multi dimensional related or real time so now what is a data frame actually a data frame is a two dimensional data structure is called data frame data frame object of python can store 2d heterogeneous data so it is a two dimensional data structure just like any table with rows and columns so data frames are similar to a spreadsheet of or we can say just like sql table while working with pandas data frame are the most commonly used data structures features of data frames first is i am saying columns can be of different time it is possible to have any kind of data in the columns so it means we can create columns are of different type now size mutable what it means the size of data frame is mutable the number of rows and columns can be increased can be decreased any time whenever users need now its data values are also mutable and can be changed any time labeled axis may be row and columns we can perform arithmetic operations on rows and columns indexes may be constitute numbers string or letters now we can understand the structure of data frame basic operation we can perform on data frame like creating a data frame dealing with rows and columns indexing and selecting data working with missing data iterating over rows and column now you can view the structure of data frame how we can create a data frame these are indicating the columns like name team number position age and then these are 0 to 6 are the rows and we can retrieve or access the data from this structure now creating of data frame how we can create data frame a pandas data frame can be created using the following constructor what will be the syntax for creating a data frame first is we have to import the library so we can import pandas dot data frame then we can use as a constructor data index columns d type or copy now when we talk about data so data can be represent as a series list constant value or other data frame you can also use for the data values now index for the row labels the index to be used for the resulting frame is optional by default the index value is displayed from 0 to size minus 1 if no index is passed if you want to define the index then you can already define just like in a previous lecture we have discussed how we can write uh, the series and then we can define the index but if we are not given the index then it will take automatically from 0 to size minus 1 now the next is columns for columns label the optional default syntax is np dot a range do you remember we can import the library and then we can use object np dot a range and then we can define if this value is true if no index is passed and d type d type means data type of each column if no data type is defined then none is applied and copy command is used for copying data if the default is false agar humne koi value nahi diya then we can use the copy command now how we can create a data frame data frame can be created with the help of list series dictionary numpy array or with the help of another data frame so we can see just one example how we can create an empty data frame here i am creating a library uh, calling a library import pandas hpd then using a simple variables then pd dot data frame 
and then print df then what will happen create a empty data frame its output just like a frame column and index so in this manner we can create a data frame so okay student we will continue the practical session in the next class and then i will show you how we can create data frame using list or dictionary within the practical session we will continue okay bye bye student take care